The Failing Newscast, where the law does not apply to us. Hello, and welcome to Failing Newscast. I'm your anchor, Shmorgan McLovin. And I'm your co-anchor, Dorian. The things that we are about to tell you are so important, you should delete things from your own memory in order to make room for the information worthy of the gods. Failing to do so will result in your head exploding. Oh, well my head hasn't exploded. Oh my god, he's dead! Moving on. Let's go to our meteorologist, Griffin Speck Conroy. Conroy? Uh, Conroy? Yeah? You forgot your pants. Oh, crap! McLovin. Now the weather for this week is going to be very tricky. Monday will consist of many clouds with chance of lightning strikes. Tuesday will consist of mainly meteor showers with a chance of robots attacking the city. Wednesday will be followed with Godzilla giving birth to nine kids who will later invade and attack China. Thursday will enter with a solar eclipse in which Robin Pattinson goes into Miley Cyrus's bedroom and sucks the blood out of her in less than three minutes while Superman yet again tries to stop another meteor from hitting Metropolis. Friday will end with the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park entering the world and destroying all life as we know it. That's this week's forecast. Now, back to you, McLovin. All right, well, uh, thank you, Conroy, for that very interesting weather report. Can't wait till Thursday. Now that the weather's up, let's see how the roads are with our traffic control, Mohammed. Mohammed? Damn! There are a lot of cars down there. Thank you, Mohammed. Now in recent news, apparently a 500-year-old diary belonging to Douglas MacArthur has been found somewhere in the Crossings. We now go live to field reporter Mr. Mom with the story. Thanks, Dorian. Yes, we now have confirmation that the diary does indeed belong to Douglas MacArthur. It contains his personal thoughts, sources that go as far back to him, to his early days in the army, to the battles he fought, and his conviction of his war crimes in Japan. So where is it? It's being examined by a top group of archaeologists. <laughs> Are they licensed? Shit. Well, back to you, McLovin. Thank you, Mr. Mom, for being a grade A dumbass once again. Next, we'll show you whether or not the doomsday predictions by the Mayas are true or not. Right after these commercials. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you like boxes? I like boxes. I bet you like boxes. You can live in a box, sleep in a box, and of course, bury that guy you killed in a box. So if you need a box, call the number on your screen and get the generic box. It is totally generic in every way. Get just one for the low price of $19.99. That's right, $19.99. Call now and we'll throw in free duct tape. Asterisk. And after that annoying commercial break, we're back. Now, on to our next story. A local boy named Wallace Heads went into the maze at the crossing has been lost for five days. We now go live to our second field reporter, Austin Powers, the second with the details. Austin? Thanks, McLovin. I'm here right outside the maze where it has been closed down for five days. Something else has gone missing, too. Your Virgin. Okay, moving on. Anyways, Dorian, I believe this next one is you. We'll now be talking about more current issues that affect the world today. Yes, that is right, Dorian. We have two commentators that prepared their own reports about the issues that they feel are affecting the world the most. We now go to our commentator, Duder, to talk about his health report on the issues facing the world today. Duder? Thanks, Dorian. Two days ago, a local neighborhood was quarantined by New York State because a pipeline had burst and covered the neighborhood in vile smelling shit. Wow, that's. that's terrible. What caused it? According to the police, one neighbor must have took a shit of all ages, which burst the pipe with one final fatal feces the size of a tank. Wow. Just imagine what the size of that feces must have been like. It's 
probably Jesus nailed to the cross. I guess God fell off and wearing the chair. And on that terrible joke, we're going to go to our next report made by second commentator, Provost. Provost. Some Russian chick. Thank you, infidel with sexual name. Now on to story. Russia is still dominant superpower in the world. Russia is still improving communism. America should do the same. But America is too weak to handle communism. Russia also built monument to honor Stalin, also known as greatest revolutionary in Russian history. America should do the same, but they don't acknowledge a true revolutionary. Russia will take over America with sleeper agents in five years. Then Russia will fire secret nukes towards America, then later take over world and convert everyone to rightful religion and political system. Hail Russia! Now uh, that that Russian propaganda speech is over with, I think it's time we log off. I and apparently in Russia, girl means boy. Anyways, thank you for watching our very first newscast. And for those of you who didn't, well, you can suck my dick. No, you're not done. Can I have a look? You'll know. You'll know. <laughs>